I don't think I've ever missed an episode of NYPD Blue since it's been on. You're kidding. Absolutely. Wow. Um, I'm a big dedicated fan and one of the things that brings me back again and again and again is the fact that there's so many office romances over there. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on the desks there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm curious, is it green or is there anything back to our hot topic? That Let's go right been? into the... Oh, uh, you're on the view, come on. Uh, <laughs> off screen? No, nothing's going on. Off, off screen. Yeah. Off screen. Come on! <laughs> Wait, who's calling you a liar? I saw you talking about the office. No, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that was subtle. Um, no, nothing's going on off screen. On screen, we have a lot going on. Yeah, Henry and Garcelle are I know. a little something, and Dennis and I are playing around with something. So now let's get to this, and I'm loving Connie with Andy. Really? I'm so happy about I that. I really do love Because it's not them. the conventional way to go. I think a lot of people... We're very scared and, and put off by it at first. We do have a large age range, big, you know, big difference there. But what I love about it is, it's, is it's not so. Love isn't so black and white, and it's not. So I'm going to fall in love with someone that looks like this, has this job, and it just doesn't work out that way sometimes. And I think they saw the chemistry that Dennis and I had, and obviously he's an amazing actor and a consummate professional. And I, I get lost in his eyes and. You know, I, personally, I think he's a very handsome man, but I, I don't see any physicality when I, when I look into his eyes, and it, it's really fun to, to play that as an artist because you kind of get lost. And so are you going to so follow with us? Come so on, am I going to do it? Oh my are you going to do it? Oh That's all we want to know. <laughs> am I going to do sip with? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you got to watch the season ender. You got to watch the oh, our, our season finale. Idea. We're going to have something going on. <laughs> so let's get some gorgeous what girls. What that is? I can't tell you. What? He gets the gorgeous girls. Well, you can crush on me. I think he's a dog. Like I love him. Yeah. That's why I'm sexy. He is. He's, he's tough and he's funny. He's smart. He's tough and he's yeah. got, you know, a soul that's just so sweet and loving. I think when a man can be really strong and also a little boy inside, yeah. that's the combination. I love him. Well, Charlie, you fit <laughs> right into the cast of Emma Peter Blue. And I want to congratulate you, but also I heard that when you, when you heard that you got the part, you had kind of a panic attack. Is that true? Yeah, they sat me down and said Kim Delaney was leaving about two years ago, and um, I had a lot of preconceived notions as to what would make a tough, strong detective. And I'm petite and I have blonde hair, and I was kind of putting my preconceived notions upon myself, and I thought, well, maybe I had to work a little harder, maybe I had to become a little too tough. And if I could be really strong and still be feminine, um, that's a fine line that's really fun to walk. Not being uh, a B-I-T-H, you can be a strong woman without being that. And I think as an actress that's a really fun thing to play. And so I, I did get scared of the physicality, and, but the, in the end I have uh, big debates with our exec producer about can a man really uh, interview a perp better than a woman? I don't think, can a, can a man shoot better than a woman? On the physical end, we have arguments all the time, but I love that, that challenge, because I think that women can do it just as well, if not better than, than men. I, 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 I do. do. I, I, I say this all the time. So I took, I took the challenge, and I'm glad I did, because what scares you ultimately, ultimately is what you will grow the most from, and it's been really fun. Speaking of panic attacks, I heard that all the actors on the show have to sign a nudity clause. Is that true? Yeah, they're famous. Meaning that you have to take your, you might be asked to take your clothes off? Or? Yeah, they're very famous for this clause. I think that um, it started a long time ago, and they don't want you to show up on set and be like, by the way, I'm not going to... They, they don't push it upon you, and I think that it's TV, obviously, so you can only show a certain amount. They showed a lot yeah. of Henry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Well, or does it want to see Henry? Does it, does it bother you, or did it, when you had to sign it? Personally, I, I, I avoid uh, nudity as much as I possibly can. It scares I just get very scared by it. So. Yeah. But, but you didn't get too scared for the ad you did for the people for the ethical treatment of animals. Can we say well, that? Well, I, <laughs> I know I seem I'm like I'm a hypocrite that there. I'm really <laughs> into uh, animal rights and um, believe that animals should have more rights in general. And PETA is an amazing organization. So when they asked me to bear it all, I had a sense of going for it. I did. Well, it's something you really love and believe in. It's amazing. But you're uh, just, come on. Do you think that, that nudity actually helps people to stop being mean to I think that it's attention grab. <laughs> yeah. It's and attention grab. I think for a second you go, what is this? Mm -hmm. And if it makes you think for two seconds that 30 to 40 animals are slaughtered oh, for I a see. coat, then it's doing exactly right. what that we, we the want. The basic premise of advertising, get, get their get attention. Them. Absolutely, and it, it does in most circumstances. Right, mm -hmm. right. Well, you look good if you ask me, but anyway. Um, <laughs> I know that you uh, are interested in music also. Mm -hmm. And when reading about you, I had no earthly idea. But you're a singer, mm -hmm. and you actually are going to have a new project coming out, right? Well, I'm working on an album now, yeah. Oh, wonderful. Tell yeah, us what I love kind it. of music. Uh, it's folk, uh, guitar, um, but, but very pure, just not a lot of backup, mm -hmm. and I'm writing my own Is stuff. Is this your first album? 
Uh, I released a single in Germany when I was like a teenager, and then I did a, a spelling series in 1991 called The Heights, which we actually got a gold record for. Uh, How do you talk to an angel was the song. We sang it in malls all around the country. <laughs> I love that song. But you know what Tiffany was good when singing in malls was a really popular yeah. thing to do. Meredith's going to be singing on our yeah. show. Be quiet. Great. Just be quiet. <laughs> I'm singing cabaret. Are you? Yeah. yeah. Let's right. Listen on this stage. She's okay, singing. Joy. Come to the train I, I, I can't sing, and it's going to be just a train wreck. You can't sing, and you're going to sing. No, she can I'm sing. attempting. Yeah, she can sing. I'm sure you can sing. She's. <laughs> no, I can't sing. You'll find out tomorrow. I think. Or, no, no, no. Great. Good, good for you for going for it. Good little time. Friday. Friday you'll see rehearsal. Friday you'll see rehearsal. Friday, you'll see rehearsal. That's very right. disturbing. I mean, you don't even go there now. That's <laughs> all right. It's very disturbing. Yeah, sure you can come great. back any time that you'd like to, Thank please. you. And Thank you. Beauty Blue is one of our favorite shows, and it really oh. does help when I say you can check it out. Tuesday nights at 10 p.m. on ABC. We'll be right back.